we're doing it. Hey guys and welcome back to the channel, this is Sketch Monkey here and this video is all about a legend and that would be the Lamborghini Diablo, specifically the VT version. So what we're going to do in this video, we're going to take the Lamborghini VT from around 2000 and we're going to modernize it, bring it back, bring it forward 20 years and see how the graphic of today's Lamborghini will could or would <laughs> apply to the Lamborghini Diablo from the 2000s. So I think this is going to be very interesting because Lamborghini has such a strong, very strong brand DNA and design DNA. So I think it's going to be very interesting to see if we put the modern graphics onto this, how that is actually going to turn out and if it could possibly be a modern version of today. So let's have a look at this Diablo right here. Let me sketch in what I'm going to do with this car. So I'm going to work on the rear view of this beautiful yellow Diablo here. As you can tell, there is very distinct lines in every Lambo. And that specifically is this shoulder line that dips right here. You can see it dips into the window right there. So that's something that we can't change. We also can't change the side view of this car, which means that we need to have this continuous line that goes here and not have any weird proportion changes to this redesign. But what I'm going to focus on is this area right here, the rear graphics. I want to have some cool new lights in here that have some resemblance to the new Y shaped lights that is part of Lamborghini's DNA nowadays. And also work on this lower part because we have some sort of step right here, which is a typical Lamborghini styling where the bumper kind of hangs off the rear end. I want to integrate this better and have some cool modern looking diffuser and bumper here in the rear something like that very basics i'm not getting there's not really a lot to talk about here what we, what we need to do is just get to work and get started on this redesign and let's see how this is going to turn out and then i'm going to come back at the end of the video explain what actually went down in this video
You wanna know what's really cool about Lamborghini? This is a 20 year old car and even the Countach, which is even older than the Diablo, you can still apply the modern graphics of Lamborghini onto those proportions and it could basically be a modern car. And that's how strong the Lamborghini design DNA is. It's very cool and it's very, very few companies Today, I don't think I can think about, think of any company which you can take a car from the 1990s or even 80s and apply some modern graphics onto that car and you could still have it be released today as a modern version of that car. But it works with Lamborghini because they have such a specific design, which I talked about before earlier in this video, Especially with the three key lines of the car, if you look at it from a side view, but also in the graphics of the car. They have very strong graphics, and it goes from decade to decade to switch up the graphics a little bit. You have the Aventador with the small Y shapes inside, which started with the Gallardo, I think in the 2012 when they did the facelift of the Gallardo. And then they kept that for a little bit, and now it's all about this Y shape, both in the front and the rear. And if you apply that as we did here, to the Diablo shape. I didn't change anything of the proportions of the car, and I think it's really cool to see that I think it's actually it actually works. It works today, and this could definitely be a modern Diablo. So one thing I <laughs> did not want to change are the wheels of this. I think these wheels are one of the some one of the coolest looking wheel design of any car anytime so this is the diablo wheel i love that deep dish that goes in it's not a deep dish but it's a concave curvature of the rear wheel compared to the front it gives the rear an even more powerful stance even if even with the wheel design the wheel design themselves if you compare the front to the rear even the wheel in the rear emphasizes the power in the back. I think it's a really cool set of wheels and something that I definitely did not want to change. What I wanted to do though was work a lot on the rear end here, which I did to integrate uh, the bumper and the exhaust and all of this into, this, uh, into the proportions of the Diablo and remove that step bumper that we have on the original Diablo, of course, and have it be more integrated in the rear, more of a unit and not have the bumper be or look like it's hanging off the rear, like was typical for the 90s and early 2000s. But today, you don't really have that design anymore, so that was something that we wanted to change. And also, you see this rear shoulder? This is part of the Lambo DNA today, to have this triangle that goes in uh, to the rear wheel arch from both angles, from the rear and from almost the, the window line, something like that, and you have a triangle that there. And that is part of the the modern design DNA of Lamborghini and something that I also wanted to add to this design. And then, of course, you have the rear lights, which is the tip. The, the first thing you notice when you see a Lamborghini are these white lights. And I think that's that's a graphic detail that we're going to have from Lamborghini for, I would, I would guess, at least a decade moving forward. We're going to have this Y shape of the car. And that's about it for this redesign of the Diablo. I had a lot of fun doing this. I hope you enjoyed it too. And if you did, hit the like button. And also, someone told me that you're not a proper YouTuber unless you have merch. So I went ahead and created a store. You can go check that out in the link below. We have some hats, some, some prints of some design t-shirts and stuff. I'm going to add more stuff later on this month probably if you want to go check that out the sketch hats you can check it out down below in the link as always thank you so much for watching i'm the sketch monkey take care and i will see you in the next video